Good afternoon, everybody. Question two, September 8, 2016, is part of the Rio Olympic Experience Survey. And uh, there's a number of questions here, and uh, I'm going to start at the top. How has my experience at the Rio Olympic Games affected me and uh, as far as going to future Olympic Games? And, and if you know me, you know that I'm going to be going to every Olympic Games for the rest of my life, no matter what what virus they have, what terrorist organization is going to go there, what sort of pollution or poor infrastructure there is, I'm going to go, and I'll share it all with you on the Olympic Clinic. Um, as far as other sports, you know, I don't really go to as many baseball, football, and hockey games as I did when I was younger, when I used to go to just tons of them, tons of them. Been to Super Bowl, World Series, All-Star Games, and I just, I just don't do that anymore. So, how has it affected me as far as... Um, working out or taking care of myself. I've been working out since I was 16 and I'm going to work out the rest of my life. Um, I'm probably not going to take up any new sports because I need a new knee and until I get a new knee I can't run and if there rules out any sort of impact sports. I still ski and maybe get into some sort of senior um, ski competitions in the future but I really need a new knee and uh, I'm a more of a mono skier than a traditional skier, and I'm not a snowboarder, so I don't know if there's much competition amongst mono skiers. Um, about sports interests, is there any games or events that I saw that really stimulated my interest? And it brings up a point that I'd like to discuss. I mean, they're bringing in surfing and mountain biking, and you know they have short track speed skating and snow cross and ski ski cross events in the Winter Games. And they had none of that when I was a kid, and that I would have excelled, and I would have been an Olympian. But the way the Olympics used to be, and the way I really think they should be, is traditional. Citrius, Altrius, Futrius. Stronger, higher, faster. And that's where you get the Hussein Bolts, and the Michael Phelps, and those great athletes that have the natural abilities to run fast, jump high, and lift a lot of weight. And that's really what the Olympic Games are about. So, but not, let's move on from that. Let's talk about the legacy in Brazil. You know, there's some mixed opinions. I don't want to talk too much about politics. But, um, you know, they spent a lot of money building bridges, tunnels, roads, um, subway systems, train lines, and all that. Some stadiums, improvements on some museums and such. But I've spoken to a lot of uh, uh, carocas, cariocas, you know, local Brazilians. And they feel that the money would have been better spent maybe improving their country, eliminating the divide between the rich and the poor. Because there is a great deal of poor people in their country. 25 to 40 percent of the people live in fafalas. And maybe 25 percent or 40 percent live in, you know, the rich areas. That leaves it like a 20 percent middle class. And it's kind of what the future of the United States could be if we don't start fixing things. Enough about politics. But I hope there's more to the legacy of the Olympic Games in Brazil than the infrastructure and the athletes' forest. You know, let's fix that country. Um, and finally, how has the uh, experience at the Olympic Games changed my life? And it has changed my life significantly. I don't really want to go into too many details other than I'm a changed man. Um, you know, I found that in life, not everything's going to go your way. Um, 90% of life is how you react to things, 10% of what actually happens. So you got to take things in stride, slow down, and just enjoy the moment. And um, don't take things too seriously. And, and peace to the world. Ciao.